This video is sponsored by Crazy Dog T-Shirts. What's up, Geeksters? It's me, Omar, from GeeksterLabs.com. Today I have another product review I want to show you guys. This is a product uh, that hey, you guys are probably pretty aware of, Beats by Dre. This is the Beats by Dre wireless Bluetooth headphones. This product has been out for a while, but I finally got around to checking it out because I wanted to review it and actually do a comparison review with a few other Bluetooth headphones I have uh, uh, at, at hand. So I got them, picked them up from Best Buy, and I've been testing them out for about a week now. And so um, you know, we'll go ahead and just discuss what my thoughts are. And uh, I know people are pretty passionate about Beats by Dre, whether it's uh, they hate them or they love them. It's either one or the other, usually. It's not too many people that are in the middle that don't really care either way, but at least the opinions that are shared online are pretty strong, either for or against it. So I'm going to go ahead and give you my thoughts on what I think about them, okay? So here we have the carrying case that it comes in really nice. The two cables are included. I already did the unboxing of this, so if you want to see that video, I'll put the description or the link to that in my description. So a really nice padded pouch. It's not a hard pouch or anything. It's just soft padding right here. And there's a little pocket inside right here where you can keep the uh, the cords if you want to keep the cords in there. So it does include the USB cord. And these are really nice cables actually too as well. They're just, I mean, they're just plastic or rubber cables, but they just feel real nice and they look real sharp. And this is the USB cable to use to charge it. Uh, one end is a regular USB and the other end is a, is a micro USB on the end right there. And then we have the uh, headphone jack here, the cord. So this is a 3.5 millimeter. We have a 90 degree tip right here, which may not fit with uh, if your phone is inside of the case that, uh, that that's, uh, you know, has like a recess plug on the case. This may not fit in there. You may have to use this other tip, but that might be kind of awkward if you have to plug this piece into the into the headphones. Just an option though, in case you do run out of battery life. This also does have the touch controls on here as well. So if you want to Put, put this into the headphones and control them. You can do that, but there's also controls built into this as well. So with no matter how you want to use it, you can actually control the music either way. So let's put these things to the side and let's talk about the headphones that we have right here. So here we have a close up of the headphones. And like I said, these are Bluetooth wireless headphones. The nice thing about these is these will actually last you 10 hours. So the battery life is pretty good. I tested these out while using them at work. So these will pretty much last me like a day and a half before I have to charge them while I'm using them at work, which is pretty nice. Because, and even though there is a built-in battery, they're not that heavy. They are pretty comfortable on the head. They are pretty lightweight. Obviously, uh, the majority of the, the body of this is made of plastic. I do kind of feel it does give it kind of a, a cheaper feel to it because it's just so much plastic. And just because, I mean, I don't know, just the overall look of it. I know uh, a lot of people find these, these headphones to be really fashionable and people wear them even when they're not listening to music. But, uh, I mean, the style is kind of, I don't know, played out a little bit, I, I kind of want to say, because, I mean, they, they haven't changed it up very much in the past years that it's been around. But, uh, you know, it is kind of simple. And it, like I said, though, it is overly, like, a lot of plastic. The inside, though, is pretty nice. It has some nice foam, fat, uh, foam padding inside of it here. And this is, like, a nice, like, Teflon kind of feeling rubber inside the middle. But uh, overall, the construction of it, it seems pretty well designed. And I don't think it's going to break or crack on you. It seems pretty flexible and pretty durable. So... I don't think that'd be too much of an issue as far as the longevity of the product. So let's talk about comfort. Like I said, the battery, is, there's a built-in battery in here, but they're not that heavy at all. They feel really comfortable in the head. No issues at all. Like I said, I wore these when I was at work, so for long periods of time, I had them on me, on my head, and it didn't bother me at all. Um, like it, obviously, you could tell these are on-ear headphones. These are not over-ear. So there's not too much sound leak. The, the isolation is pretty good. It has real nice foam padding right here, real comfortable, real soft. So that was pretty good at all. So overall, the comfort and the build quality on this are pretty are pretty solid. I don't have too many negative things to say. Obviously, there's some some stylings to it that I'm not really big on, but I'm, obviously there's some people that really like the style of these headphones. Um, let's talk about the biggest, most important factor, which is sound quality. Now, one being that they're Bluetooth headphones, that's going to kind of um, knock it down a couple notches when it comes to sound quality, only because you know Bluetooth is not going to give you as good of sound quality as having plugged in headphones is screaming that's just the way it goes it's obviously gotten way better over time and over the years but uh it's just always gonna sound a little better once plugged in so but for being bluetooth headphones they don't sound that bad okay i'm not gonna say they sound terrible i know there's gonna be a lot of haters out there that say you know beats by dre completely are terrible sounding headphones they're not i wouldn't say they're completely sound, terrible sounding headphones i believe for in my personal opinion for 279 dollars i would expect to have better sounding headphones though even even though they are bluetooth um i just think obviously beats by dre is mostly meant for for bass and out listening to a lot of hip-hop and that type of music i don't feel they're very well rounded all the other the highs and mids are kind of muddled whenever you're listening to music even for hip-hop i mean for me personally i i didn't 
I didn't my my listening experience was not that great. I mean, there, there was really good solid bass and everything like that. I just think for two hundred seventy eight dollars, two hundred eighty dollars, pretty much, um, I was just expecting a little bit more. Um, uh, from what I hear, some of the plugged in headphones, especially like the studios or the uh, the pros, Beats Pros, are probably a little bit better sounding quality. Those are obviously a little more expensive than these. So I just think if you're looking for really great sound quality, probably don't go with Bluetooth. You would probably want to find some plugged in headphones that sound a lot better than these. But uh, like I said, they're pretty bass heavy and the highs and mids are a little muddled. So overall, if you listen to a lot of hip hop, you might be satisfied with that. If you listen to all lots of other types of music, you're probably not going to be too satisfied with these headphones. That's just my personal opinion. Of course, everybody online has their own personal opinion when it comes to Beats by Dre, but that's just kind of mine. So overall sound quality, and eh, it's about average. If you guys okay. have any questions about this product, uh, please post those below. And uh, like I said, uh, I know there's a lot of people out there who really hate Beats by Dre, so you know, if you could, don't, don't waste your time posting negative comments about how much you hate Beats. That's not really what this is all about. So if you have any questions, post those below. If you, if you have had a good experience with it, put that down there as well. If you, if you, had a, if you have actually have a negative experience to say about Beats and not just that Beats suck, uh, I would love to hear those comments as well. But, you know, let's, let's just be mature about what we put down there because I've seen a lot of other video reviews of Beats by Dre and it pretty much just gets into this huge war of how much they're terrible and how much people love them. So don't really feel like seeing those comments. But anyways, guys, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll my, do my best to get back to you. And uh, like I said, I'm going to be using these headphones in a couple of comparison reviews. I have a, I have a, a pair of uh, Skosh Bluetooth headphones that are really nice pair of headphones so I'll be doing a review a comparison review with this and that one because I know people will be asking me which is better between the two so uh, I'll be doing some comparison reviews with this headphones as well so just stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys in the next video review